Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi, friends. Biggest mason jar ever. I like it because one of these is my amount of water that I'm supposed to be drinking during the day. Are you drinking your water? So, how is everybody? I'll give a moment for everybody to jump on. I'm gonna put some chapstick on. I'm gonna let my followers know that I have started a live video to see if they are ready to hop on. I hope everybody's having a great evening. It is Wellness Wednesday up in here. It's been an abundant, an abundant Wellness Wednesday. But it's all good in the hood. I'm ending my day. Well, no, not really, because I still have more to do after this. But I'm ending my day with you guys, which makes me happy. So that is really awesome. Um, happy Wellness Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me and giving me your time. I am back to share this space with you guys and teach you my passion of essential oils, natural alternatives, and anything else I want to talk about. Because it's my page and y'all are following me, right? Just kidding. No, I'm not. A little bit. It is Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back to my 37th live dual broadcast. We have Facebook, we have Instagram. I will be here every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk all about and share about oil, essential oils, oil accessories, baking, crafting, cleaning, diffusing, um, even the oily business side. So if you know someone who would be interested in the oily life, Go ahead and um, like, comment, and share this broadcast, as well as just linking them um, right on this video. Would be awesome. Show me some love. Uh, if you're catching the replay, that's cool too. It's all good if you, if you can't join the live, because the replay will always be archived on my YouTube. So you can go to youtube.com, search my name, subscribe. You'll be notified when any new content is added on. You can go to my um, Instagram bio and go to my link in the Instagram bio and my YouTube is there or you can just go to youtube.com whatever you'd like um, let's get started Uh oh Facebook kind of froze a little bit don't start Facebook don't start let's turn it up a little bit make sure y'all can hear me all right so let's get started my name is Lindsay I. Marino. I am an essential oil educator and team leader for doTERRA International. I am also an AromaTouch certified practitioner and certified lover of essential oils and all things wellness. Hello, Lorian. Hi, Andres. Hi, Ellen. Good evening. Love to see you, everybody hopping on. Thank you for your time. Thank you for joining me. In this class, I'm going to be going over all of the possible carrier oils why a carrier oil, how it is better to blend your essential oils with carrier oils, um, dilute, dilute, dilute with a carrier oil. Hi, Patty. Hi, Sabrina. So you always want to um, dilute with a carrier oil, and we're going to talk about why. Um, I will also share which oil, which carrier oils are my favorite and how I use them. So get a pen and paper because, oh, Lorianne, you're frozen. How about now? How about now? No, just kidding. Hi, Tara. Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So you're going to want to get a pen and a pad because you're going to want to take some notes on this um, good stuff. So I always talk about essential oils, but what do we blend with a very, very highly concentrated, powerful oil, essential oil? You want to use a carrier oil, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. All the different types of... Hi, Carissa. Um, all the different types of, I'm hoping that this live on Instagram, there's nobody popping on. Eh, do I have any friends? What's going on? No? Okay. Maybe just everybody's on Facebook tonight, which is cool. I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. And anywho, all right. <clears throat> Who else is coming on? Lorianne, are you still frozen, honey? I'm sorry. I got, I got a little smidge of being frozen and then it went away. 
So we're just gonna continue with it. You can always catch the replay. So carrier oils are essential, essentially any oil that you use to dilute your essential oils. Um, they amplify the healing powers of the essential oils. So carrier oils amplify the healing powers and are truly um, essential and necessary in every sense of the word. So at first it takes a little bit of time to get used to um, diluting, but once you get your essential oil routine down and uh, using a carrier oil that uh, resonates with you, that you like for your skin type, it becomes second nature. So it's really, really awesome. Um, why carrier oils for essential oils are important? Why are, why are they? Um, they're perfect for diluting concentrated essential oils um, because they are less likely to irritate or um, sensitize the skin. Um, carrier oils also have their own healing in their own right. Um, they carry a unique therapeutic and nutritive properties, which means the benefits are seemingly, seemingly endless. Get it together, Lens. Um, depending on the essential oil, um, you're, it's endless. Uh, always do your research. If um, you resonate with me and would love me to guide you in that world, I would love to be um, humble to do so. Just you know, just know that essential oils are uh, not all created equal and they all have their therapeutic properties, but not so much. The carrier oils also have their own therapeutic properties as well. So if um, you're ready to start, hit me up because I would love to guide you and support you in that area because that is what I do because you're here for Wellness Wednesday. Um, now I know what you're thinking. It seems counterintuitive to say that diluting your essential oils make them more powerful. Well, it's true. So we're gonna bust that myth right now. When you use an essential oil without a carrier oil, it's called using it neat. And you're putting highly potent, highly concentrated essential oil directly on your skin. Which, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the entire world, depending, depending on the oil, and that's what I'm here for. Um, so don't just go and put oregano on your skin undiluted. Don't do that. But this is a spearmint. It's actually um, a lot lighter than peppermint, but has the same properties. And you can put one drop, I mean, and it's gonna smudge around and stuff, but it's not going to um, penetrate as deeply with um, a fractionated coconut, um, not a fractionated coconut. I say that because that's my most popular one that I use. Um, not the only one though, because there's tons more, tons of them that I have sitting here that I'm gonna introduce you to. Um, but with a carrier oil, it will um, be more powerful. So if you put oils neatly on your skin, there's a few problems to that. So concentrated oils can irritate the skin, which distracts from any benefit of the oil that's intended. Um, neat application can cause the body to become sensitized, which is a permanent um, aller aller allergic type response which will prevent you from ever wanting to use that oil again. So you want to do a good test spot with a, with, of any essential oil with a carrier oil. Doesn't matter if you're a child, a, a, a small child, babies, toddlers, all the way up to teenagers or adults, does not matter. You always wanna do a test area because I have really sensitive skin and I put Motivate directly on the back of my neck and I broke out. It's not the oil's fault. It was my lack of knowledge fault. You know, I just was like, oh, I need this. I don't have a carrier oil, whatever. But um, I just got some tea tree and that went away, just saying. So you can always, you just wanna be careful because it will, it will deter you from using that essential oil again. So fully concentrated essential oils will evaporate off of your skin and will not get, you will not get the full benefit um, from using them. So you wanna remember that essential oils are um, a volatile, volatile organic compound. So meaning that they're easily emitted as gas and uh, when they're exposed to air. That's why when you open up the bottle of essential oil, you can immediately smell it after opening it. So, hi Patty. <clears throat> essential oils are, um, cannot be properly spread throughout and massaged into the skin without a carrier oil. So when ingesting um, oils neatly, you're more likely to get, uh, you know, a little bit of irritation in your mouth and esophagus, depending on what level of essential oil you are. Now, you wanna go balls to the wall and put peppermint right in your mouth? I do it all the time. 
lot of people won't do it. You wanna go balls to the wall and put On Guard in your mouth? I do it because I'm a seasoned oiler, just saying. I would never um, point anyone in that direction to put oils directly right in your mouth, <clears throat> depending on what it is. Tea tree, if I, you know, bite in my, in my, in my, bite my inside of my mouth or anything, I'll put tea tree directly on it, not just directly neat with nothing on it, because I want the, you know, I want the full dosage. You see, it's kind of counterintuitive saying that I don't want to dilute it, but I know it'll work better, but I just take the bottle and just put it on there. So it's, it's also being lazy. Let's just, I'm giving myself excuses here. So dilute your oils. Um, just depends on the on the person if you are new and your sensitivity, depending on what you want to put in your mouth neatly or without a carrier oil. So I take my uh, essential oils neat in a veggie capsule. I do not put IQ Omega in there, which is our children's um, liquid vitamins, or fractionated coconut oil or any other melted coconut oil or any other carrier oil in my veggie caps. I just do use my um, essential oils and that's it. Now I've been taking Yarrow Palm and this is the first nutritive duo that we have had that has pomegranate seed oil already in it. So there's a carrier oil already in it. So that may help with some of my oils taken internally, but I take other oils all the time with nothing else in it. Um, so I also don't put oils, in, hot oils in your water. So if you're taking oils internally with your water, I know biggest, biggest mason jar ever, it's my favorite. It's my house mason jar. I don't obviously take it anywhere with me. It's when I know I'm home, I need to finish this whole thing. It's awesome, I have to say. Amazon, 62 or 64 ounce. What are you? Let's see. I don't know. It's got six, six cups, three pints. So however many, whatever. I don't know. It works. So. You don't want to put hot oils in, in your water like that. You know, if you need to take an oil internally for medicinal purposes or for anything that you're dealing with, you want to put it in a veggie capsule. We got those. Um, if you're using doTERRA oils, you use doTERRA veggie capsules. Don't go to Whole Foods and buy theirs. Don't go on Amazon and buy theirs. Um, I have learned the hard way. Just don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so basically you, um, I don't put any hot oils in my water. I only usually, usually use, um, mostly citrus. So that comes with education and that's why I have a job. I am here for you. So trust me for optimal use, it's best to dilute essential oils with a carrier oil when you're applying them topically, but you don't always have to put, um, a carrier oil in the veggie cap if you're taking it internally. If it's someone that's starting new, you would do that, but that's where I come in and guide you and educate you and I'd never steer you in a wrong way ever in my entire life. So <clears throat> there's, excuse me, there's four main types of carrier oils when it comes to essential oils. Um, kitchen staples. So what do you got in your kitchen? Because usually what you got in your kitchen you already have, so you can use it. You got an olive oil and a coconut oil and then you got um, fractionated coconut oil, which is not a kitchen staple, but it's like a cousin to the coconut oil, right? Um, most of those are good for DIY projects as a nice little massage, car uh, massage oil carrier, tasty in your oil pulling rituals. Um, it's best for dry skin and leaves a little oil residue. So what I use with my regular coconut oil is I like to make my own body scrubs at home. It's just pink Himalayan salt and melted coconut oil, regular melted coconut oil. Once it's melted, I put my oils of choice in there and then add it to the salt. So you always wanna do 80-20. So 80 salt or sugar and 20% oil. And that's, I need to refill this up, but I use this once a week on my body. And I keep it right in my um, shower. Brain fart. So <clears throat> that's spell, um, it's good for like health conditions like um, first aid, like cuts and scrapes and stuff because the salt is amazing and the coconut oil just really is um, moisturizing and helps rejuvenate the skin. So nuts and seed oils. So while nuts and seed oils like um, almond oil or jojoba oil are less, ho less of a household item, um, they are easy to find in stores or online um, and they're easy to, to work with, with uh, and are rich in sources of uh, skin health 
nutrients, which are awesome. You can buy any of these. I'm going to go over where I get mine, but most of them either like a health food store, like a Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, or Amazon. And we're going to go over what types of carrier oils they should be. Even I mean, they're all different types, but you want like expeller pressed refined cold pressed like there's different we're gonna go over all that so much to know <laughs> so i did a whole class on it because i actually learned a little bit myself on one um on one specific oil that i don't even have that i am going to be adding to my arsenal so next up is fruit oils like um typically from apricot avocado grape seed those are um the most affordable and easy uh, easy uh, easily accessible. Uh, essential fatty acid oils. Um, while many carrier oils, like I've mentioned, most of them are good sources of e essential fatty acids, some oils are more well known for this reason. Uh, specific, specifically, borage and evening primrose. Evening primrose is going in my arsenal. That's what I was talking about. I don't have it. I've only heard of evening primrose being used for women who are about to give birth. And yes, in that area. Sorry if children are around, but I'm not really saying anything, so it doesn't matter. Um, so we're gonna go over why, because there's in my, you know, my, my notes here. But I learned something new today. So I learn something new every day with this stuff. It's amazing. Um, borage oil produced from the seed of a flowering um, perennial herb um, is potent in omega-6 fatty acids and omega-3 acids are usually taken to correct an imbalance of essential fatty acids. Like this is so awesome. But borage uh, oil is different. At its root, um, omega-6 is an anti-inflammatory similar to omega-3. So this aids in topical benefits. Amazing, making borage oil very good for um, any type of skin irritation or skin issue. We're gonna keep compliant, skin issue. Any type of skin issue. I got a lot of those if you've read my 10-year challenge I didn't even hashtag a 10-year challenge because it kind of became more about myself <laughs> and my oil oil story than a 10-year challenge but it was pretty cool going back and seeing that little chunky monkey but I've gone up and down but I'm so happy where I'm at right now um, so applying these uh, borage and uh, prim evening primrose Primrose is often found in hormone balancing protocols. What? They are thick and work very well to promote women's health. So um, they're going in my arsenal. Like I'm gonna be, well, my phone's here, I'm looking for my phone. Um, I'm gonna be going on Amazon and finding a really good one. So <clears throat> I can, if somebody's interested, I can um, post it or whatever. So how to use carrier oils with your essential oils? So when starting out with a carrier oil, it's best to use a small amount to see if you like it, be more comfortable, or have a sanitary way of storing your, your blend. Like how we use the Amazing Root and Petal. Da, 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 da. Shout out to Becky, the Root and Petal. So this is how we like to make our little blends. We just take a little roller bottle, you put a few drops of essential oil in there of your choice, whatever it is that you're needing um, a, a blend for, whether it's immune, respiratory, <clears throat> digestion, skin issue, sleep, whatever. There's an oil for that, right? We've talked about that before. And um, you top it with whatever carrier um, oil of choice. So <clears throat> when storing blends, it's important to also use heat sanitized containers well you know they say to use the darker glass but i don't just keep them out of the sun it's really not that big of a deal so especially when um st or storing for later use just keep them out of heat and out of the sun um stir the essential oil into the carrier if you're making something different if you're making like a little anti-aging serum or um a body serum and a dropper top um you know bigger batches you just want to incorporate everything together um, and stir everything you know make sure everything's incorporated and it's super easy it's not um, you know difficult by any means how to use your oil and how to make certain things you learn over time I'm I still learn um, something new every day so let's get into the different carrier oils themselves which is why we all here all right let, we're gonna start with um, <clears throat> 
And what's we got here? What's we got? Do we have the almond? Yes, sweet almond. We're gonna use, uh, talk about sweet almond. So you wanna get a an organic cold pressed oil. This one's not cold pressed, but it's organic, but I think it probably was all that I could find. Not tested on animals, no synthetics, paraben, paraben free, pure botanical ingredients, which is pretty good. So I bought this one, I think it's almost done. But um, this is especially used for facial massage, facial massage um, too, as it helps to balance the moisture levels of your skin and improve your complexion and it gives you that glow, which, <laughs> you're a palm. You know what I'm gonna do? Because I can, I'm gonna put a smidge. Look at that blue though. Look at that blue. Whoop, dropping over, look at that blue. I'm just gonna put a little bit here and put it into my eyes. I've been running ragged today, guys. I got my master closet installed. I'm just going cray cray. Ooh, a little bit of yard palms to the rescue. So, <clears throat> that will give you a glow of look, glow, uh, the, the glow of youth. But <clears throat> sweet almond oil is really awesome too. It has a very slight nutty smell because uh, it's almond, and it's not overwhelming. And I like it. It's sweet and pleasant, and actually. Um, of course, you can always add a few drops of your essential oil to personalize your at-home spa experience. Or you can use it in a roller bottle or whatever it is that you're making. So, um, shelf life is reasonably well. I wouldn't go more than a year. I think I've had this one. I don't even know if there's a thing on it. Usually there should be, huh? Hmm, maybe not. It's almost gone anyway. So, um... Hi, Kim. <clears throat> so I wouldn't go more than a year with the sweet almond oil, and it's good for all skin types. Uh, the next is jojoba oil. I love me some jojoba oil. Where are you at, jojoba? <gasps> Am I out? No, it's by my, it's by my bathtub. It's the only one I didn't grab. Um, jojoba oil is cold. You get it. You want to get it cold pressed, organic if you can. You can get it at a whole Amazon, Whole Foods. I like Amazon, it's easy, it comes right to my house. And um, sweet almond oil's most natural match is jojoba oil. So combining them together, the qualities are the closest natural oil for your skin, it's really awesome. Making them great for applications for massage, to cosmetics, or like a serum or anything. Um, I usually, in my serum, I think I, I, I haven't posted about it yet, but I'll tell you what I use as a base. I use, Argan, organic rose hip, a smidge of vitamin E, any type of body oil, you always want to put a smidge of vitamin E. And then what is the other one? I think it's just rose hip, argan, and, and vitamin E. So it's a little bit of an investment, but my face is an investment. So um, it's got a golden, a, a, a really deep golden color, and it's considered um, jojoba oil is one of the most favorite oils to use from a lot of people, it's, it's very popular. It doesn't really have much scent on its own, so that's pretty cool. Derived from the jojoba beans, <clears throat> oil can be stored for a long period of time compared to other carrier oils, and it possesses an almost indefinite shelf life. So that's pretty cool. Good for all skin types. Apricot oil, so apricot kernel oil, this one is probably not that great, I haven't even opened it. Um, it says softens fine lines and treats dry hair, so hmm, that's it. That's a plus. Coming from the kernel of the apricot plant, this carrier oil is also known um, for its pale yellow complexion. So it's got a very pale yellow comp uh, complexion. And what makes it great and, and, and works well with used for aging, um, it's also a common ingredient in a lot of cosmetics and um, that have the price of up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So anything with um, apricot oil in it is a little bit of an investment, but that's why you should be putting in all the things. Um, you can get it at Amazon, Whole Foods, just about anywhere. The um, You can get it for as little as like eight bucks, I believe. I think that one, that small one might have been smaller, uh, less, of, um, less value, but around eight dollars. It's best when kept in the refrigerator and it's for dry and aging skin. So it's very, very um, replenishing. 
Next one is FCO in the house, fractionated coconut oil, which is our most popular blending for us oilers. And I don't use it on my face. <clears throat> this one is from doTERRA, which I love. I also um, purchase this um, all natural therapeutic grade um, in vivo from Amazon. That's my favorite. So fractionated coconut oil contains a unique combination of fatty acids with powerful medicinal properties. So there's countless health benefits to using coconut oil topically on your skin, plus the addition of essential oils. So it comes both refined and unrefined versions. For use in aromatherapy, you actually cannot use unrefined coconut oil since it sets like butter. So regular coconut oil, you don't want that. It sets like butter in the jar and can only be scooped out in chunks rather than the liquid version. So you want the fractionated, the um, refined, I think. Yes. And um, it is made available in the form of fractionated carrier oil that is smooth, clear as water, and with a light oily texture and very useful for aromatherapy applications. So it, its shelf life is indefinite. That's why it's one of the most um, uh, popular oils. It is all for all skin types, unless you have my skin type. I don't like putting it on my face. I don't put it in my serums. It's not good for acne prone skin. So once I have quit doing that, cause I was like, why is my skin like so weird? Like this is fractionated coconut oil, it's supposed to be great. Not for me, everybody's body is different, right? So fractionated coconut oil is not really a kitchen staple like the others, but like I was saying, it's the cousin to coconut oil. And it's got um, the fractionated out of the coconut oil, making this a carrier um, for immediate absorption. So it's very good for topical use. It's like immediate absorption. It will absorb your essential oils to further um, them into your bloodstream and using the, the healing benefits of essential oils, which is why it's so important to know which carrier oil you want to use. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I need some agua, it's been a long day. Got my closets done. And I just have, still have to go back and finish them. So, olive oil. Get the good stuff from Italy. Or just don't use it because it's super thick and it's not really one that I prefer to use. But when in doubt, if you get peppermint or something in your eye and you're in your kitchen, grab your olive oil. Don't go to water. We all know oil and water don't mix. Blah, blah, blah. It intensifies. doesn't make it feel very good. You want to dilute it with any type of... Um, fraction, any type of carrier oil. I always say fractionated coconut oil because I'm just, hi Diana. I always, um, that's what I mostly use. So avocado oil. I think this one's probably, this is expeller pressed refined. Yeah, it's been, it's, it's not, it's not good anymore, but I think I just keep it for, for things like this. But, um, when you get really good avocado oil, Amazon Whole Foods, cold pressed, um, refined organic. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. It's similar to olive oil, but it's not as thick. You can be using cooking for salad dressings. It also has a um, distinctive aroma that may not be everybody's cup of tea. This one's probably rancid, so I don't even... It just smells musky. Yeah, we'll, we'll be getting a new one. It's actually good when I did this class because now I know which ones I have and which ones I don't and which ones I have to put in my arsenal, which is great. So, um, comes in two variations, cold pressed, unrefined, and it's, it's, it's thick and heavy, but it's not overly greasy like olive oil is. So if you're treating dry skin or wrinkles, it contains a high amount of vitamins and has a good source of fatty acids, which is amazing and it helps to absorb into the skin easily. So it's got a shelf life of one year. Mine is no longer good. Now looking at it, it's good for dry, sensitive, and um, mature skin. So the next one is one of my favorites. Argan oil. I get mine 100% argan oil. Oh, argan oil from Trader Joe's. I love this one. It comes in a little box. And it comes in a little, really cute little dropper bottle. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is what I use in my serum. So I do half this, half uh, rosehip oil, which we'll go into, I think, is the next one. So 
Argan oil is very good to use on your face, has restorative qualities for your skin cells, helps skin elasticity, softens wrinkles, fine lines, restores nutrients and the skin cells, and it just is absolutely amazing. It has an array of um, treating any skin conditions. It's very gentle yet effective. It's derived from the argan trees of Morocco, which has a nutrient-rich, large, majestic trees. Argan oil is a natural moisturizer and um, just moisturizes your skin, helps naturally and noticeably soften and heal your skin. Who doesn't want that? That's why I put it in my facial serum, which I put all over my face, my neck, my decollete, my elbows, my, my, my knees, my feet, and my hands. And if it if I could make it in bigger batches, which I probably will, I would do my whole body. Um, but uh, argan oil, let's see what else. So it could be described as, as a nutty smell, but if you have, um, don't use it if you have nut allergies. Around two years is the shelf life, and it's good for dry, sensitive, and mature skin. One of my favorites. Next one is rose hip oil. So that's what I do. I do 50 50 argan oil and rose hip oil. And I'm going to be um, sharing all about my skin serum through my five part mini series, five beauty must haves that I'm going through right now. The first one was dry shampoo. And um, so I love 50 50 argan oil and um, rose hip oil for my, for my face serums. So. Another facial skin favorite carrier oil is rosehip oil, um, also known as rosehip oil, seed oil. Rich in vitamin C, essential fatty acids, protects the skin, increases cell turnover, and aids the cell into your skin to rejuvenate or uh, regenerate. Why some say, that's why some say that rosehip oil is anti, has anti-aging benefits. Then infuse them with your essential oils and you got it girl. So, um, it's good for your tissue rejuvenation, facial wrinkles, UV damage, burns, scars, all that jazz. Anti-aging benefits um, with this oil come to its chemical structure. It um, contains many polyunsaturated fatty acids. When absorbed through the skin, these fatty acids convert to prostaglandins, prostaglandins, yeah, whatever that is. Prostaglandins, prostaglandins, there we go. Sound it out. Girl, get it together. Prostaglandins, prostaglandins, now I'm not gonna forget it. Which are involved in cellular membrane and tissue rege uh, regeneration and has somewhat particular scent. So I advise to like try smaller bottle size to start. It has a short shelf life, so use it up quickly before it goes rancid. Six months and then take it off. It smells rancid, take it off. For mature skin so uh, next is macadamia nut i don't i did have that i had a small one from whole foods and i used it all up i do have to get some more you can get on amazon whole foods any other type of health food store fantastic choice for a carrier oil has um contains up to 23 percent palate pal palmitolic acid palmitolic acid these these words are just thrown at me um, which is rarely found at such high levels in any other vegetable oil. And it um, is common, um, constituted with human tissue, particularly the skin of infants, children, and teenagers. So yes, we want that natural youth, give it to me. The natural youth, the glow, the elasticity, pretty good. So I think maybe I'll add macadamia nut to my anti-aging. Oh snap, anti-aging serum, volume two, coming at you. And well, I gotta post volume one first, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, so it will, um, this oil has restructuring properties, strengthening the skin, uh, the barrier, and improving skin moisturizer, moisturization. So if you're considering this one, um, make sure you do cold pressed variety, like all of them. All carrier oils should be cold pressed for aromatherapy or topical uses. You can keep this uh, oil in the fridge to extend the shelf life. Um, if you have nut allergies, unfortunately stay away from this one too. Two years in the pantry, two to three in the fridge, and it's for all skin types. The next one is Evening Primrose, and I've never had it, but I'm gonna put it in my arsenal. I'm probably gonna try to find it on Amazon. And um, it is invaluable for aromatherapist. It contains high concentration of 
linoleic acid and a small percentage of gamma linoleic acid fatty acids. So used externally, primrose is healing to um, eczema, premature aging skin, dry, scaly dandruff, small scrapes, um, or bruising. So when I read all this, I was like, yes, I need this in my arsenal. I need this in my arsenal. Um, it will help minimize wrinkles, dark circles around the eyes, tired looking eyes, rejuvenating properties, improves firmness and skin elasticity. So it's recommended to keep cold press in a dark, cool place to maintain the freshness and achieve maximum shelf life. If you, uh, if you keep your primrose oil refrigerated, Bring it up to room temperature before using, otherwise it will be pretty uncomfortable during the massage. So it's two years um, and it's for irritated skin, especially for that one, which is pretty cool. Um, two more, I don't have this one either, but I may put it in my arsenal. Sesame seed oil is, both, is best used for dry damaged skin, contains vitamin E and minerals, proteins, amino acids, um, it's almost clear, pale yellow liquid that doesn't smell like much of anything, which is widely used in natural cosmetics and moisturize as a as an, a moisturizing component. And it um, is essential on fatty acids, helps maintain integrity of the skin, moisturizing the skin, antioxidants, reversing skin aging, increasing skin glow, strengthening conditioning, and um, moisturizing skin and hair. So that's pretty cool. If you have nut allergies, do not use sesame seed carrier oil. If you have any kind of nut allergy, don't. Two year shelf life, and you can use it for all skin types. Um, black seed oil, last and final, you can get it from Amazon. I don't have it, but it's known as the healthiest oil on the planet. So um, it's one of the newer discoveries in carrier oils and is also known as black cumin seed oil and it's extremely high in essential fatty acids, about 70 to 80%, even comparable to evening primrose. So black seed oil and evening primrose are going in my arsenal. Black seed oil, black seed contains amazing amount of anti-inflammatory, pain relieving, antibacterial, antioxidant, you name it, it has it. Um, it's recommended to avoid black seed carrier oil in pregnancy and lactation and um, Sorry, I got a text message. And to, it, shelf life is about two years and it's used for all skin types, which is awesome. So I'm definitely going to be putting a couple of new carrier oils in my arsenal as well as getting some um, non-rancid carrier oils. So I hope you got all that. There are plenty of choices to choose from when it comes to a carrier. Don't let it overwhelm you. Just start with a couple that resonate with you first and go from there or you do a patch test even when you're without essential oils. And if you have any questions, always reach out to me, always ask, I'm always here for you. Let's get into the promos while they are good for January. Um, the first half of the month, the free frankincense was extended from December and now we have a new promo. So we have a relax and renew promo that started yesterday. And if you missed my flash sale, not to worry, you can get started with, um, if you have, if you get started with a kit with an eligible order, there's two, Levels with 100 PV eligible order. If you don't know, it's a pro point value system. You get a free mandarin, red mandarin, 15 milliliters. It's not even a permanent oil, so I'm jelly belly. Um, if you get a 200 PV eligible order, you get a free red mandarin, 15 milliliter, and a free 15 milliliter serenity. So serenity, oh serenity. Uh, red mandarin, it will knock your socks off when you put it in your water, and it's great. Um, cleanser for additional clarifying properties and is good for digestion. Serenity, you can diffuse this baby and it's lights out. You can infuse your Epsom salts with this oil and have the most luxurious relaxing bath. And you can place it over your heart or the back of your neck to promote feelings of peace and calmness. Yes, everybody needs serenity, everybody. We have a welcome back promotion this month. We want you back. Um, this promotion is available to those who have not placed an order in between four and eight, four and 12 months from August 31st, 2018. If you haven't ordered in 12 plus months, call service, uh, customer service, uh, 1-800-411-8151, 1-800-411-8151 and speak with the person who introduced you to oils for more do details. So with this promotion, if you place a hundred 
PV product value eligible order you'll receive a free breathe free on guard which are amazing breathe is our respiratory blend on guard is our protecting blend they're staples in my house if you place a 200 product value eligible order and um, through the loyalty rewards you will get a free breathe free on guard Oh, not the grapefruit and the frankincense. Just the breathe and the on guard. Okay, so that's good. Because the the grape the grapefruit and the frankincense ended yesterday. I keep thinking that that the um days just keep flying by. There's so much going on. So 10% off our slim and sassy is 10% off all month long. It's got grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, and cinnamon. And it's designed to help boost your metabolism, maintain hunger cravings and um, can be used part of a weight management uh, when combined with exercise and eating healthy. We all need to exercise and eat healthy. It's 80% what you put in your mouth, 20% exercise. We all know this, don't we? We all know this, just doing it. So the primary benefits for this, it promotes a healthy metabolism, helps main, manage hunger cravings when taken in your water, diuretic, stimulant, and calorie free. Amazing. We are still going strong on doTERRA's Cleanse and Restore as well as the Skinny Jeans Challenge. Also, if you are on my team and interested in sharing more about oils uh, with others and getting your oils paid for, I would love you to reach out to me and we can chat further about that. So that is all for tonight's Wellness Wednesday. I will see you next week and I hope you have a good weekend and see you later.